dating site is really no place to have a photo of your child because someone's looking at you as a potential partner, and then if you've got your child staring at them like, that's my mommy, right. it's going to be very no. insane. All right. Ultimately, you're looking for someone that you have a common interest with. So when you talk about movies or what's on your iPod, then you're getting to understand that person's sensibility and if you have something in common. But I always say you want to also ask questions that get the person to tell a story. Mm. So instead of just saying what's on your iPod, tell me about the last concert that you went to. I've got a variety of things in the column. Um, this last week I talked about the millionaire matchmaker's dating roles. Uh, uh, she says no sex before monogamy, and you know, I, I think it's debatable. <laughs>I actually insist that all of my clients, both men and women, are very proactive in seeking out dates because, especially on the larger sites, you could do the same search every day for a week and come up with a whole different roster of people. So your soulmate might be there, but they might not be finding you. When my husband initially wrote to me, he was not coming up in any of my searches because uh, he and I are the same age, but I was, I was thinking I needed an older, right, more right, distinguished right, right, man, right. and I was searching. Um, I was searching a year to 10 years older. Right. So he didn't come up in any of my searches. The minute I saw his profile, I was like, he's the perfect he, guy for me. Right. Is, is it that quick? I, I, I knew when I saw his profile. Once you actually connect online and meet in person, then online dating just becomes dating. <laughs>